Hello. Welcome back to BIM and Beyond. With the launch of Autodesk Civil 3D 2020, computational design can now be applied in civil infrastructure projects. Few practical use cases can be seen in what's new in Civil 3D 2020 video series, published by Autodesk. In this video, we will have a brief overview of Dynamo for Civil 3D and a Dynamo script for creating multiple surfaces from Excel input. First off, we will start with the installation of Dynamo for Civil 3D, 2020. Unlike Revit, Dynamo is not included inside the default Civil 3D installation. Instead, adding it requires a separate download. There are two basic ways to download and install Dynamo for Civil 3D. From Autodesk account, or, the Autodesk Desktop application. Open Autodesk Desktop application. Sign into your Autodesk account. Check for Civil 3D updates. Install Dynamo for Civil 3D package. Accessing Dynamo from Civil 3D. Open Civil 3D 2020 and create a new drawing file. Similar to Revit. Go to Manage tab. Under Visual Programming, select Dynamo. Dynamo for Civil 3D will be launched. The user interface looks similar to Dynamo for Revit. Here, we can find some default library nodes available for AutoCAD and Civil 3D which can be used to build Dynamo scripts. We will take a look into one such script, for creating multiple surfaces with Excel input. Browse and select the Excel file which contains the X, Y and Z point coordinates for multiple surfaces. The input data is managed as required and points are created from the Excel data in the next step of the script. The point data are used to create block references. For creating the block references, certain prerequisite must be done. Next is, creating point groups from the block references. Finally, surface is created from point groups. Similarly, the logic is extended to further surfaces. Before executing the program, let us do the prerequisite of creating a block. Switch to drawing space. Create a circle. Create a block from the circle with its center as insertion point. The block name will be used in our Dynamo script. Once the block reference is created, it can be deleted. Switch back to Dynamo, and run the script. This is the Excel input. Once the script is executed, the points are visible in the Dynamo geometry space. Let's review, how the script is executed.
we can find the Excel data imported, and with the imported data, points are created. The blocks available in the drawing is listed. And the test block, which we had created earlier, is placed at all point locations. This creates our desired block references. In the next step, point group is created from the COGO points, which in turn is used as surface definition. The result, 